In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the zoom feature in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added four options uh, holding with the hand and this is completely done in PowerPoint, all the hand design and everything. So what I'm going to do is uh, you can see the four options with some different colors. When I click the option A, the option A details will come then the B, C and D like this. So you can see here when I'm taking my mouse over to this particular icon the icon is changing that means there's some particular uh, the zoom feature is available so when i click that one you can see here this is the option a and this is my design i have just put it here and when i click it goes back to the original slide and then when i go and click on the icon of the option b it goes back to the option b again click it goes back to the original slide then this is c you can see here this is option c and the last is option d so this one i did using the the zoom feature in powerpoint which is available only i think in office 2019 and office 365 version and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i have added this rectangle you can see this is the size the height is 7.52 and the width is 8.15 and then i'm going to just add this particular uh, the hand uh, which is completely done in powerpoint you can see here this is all done in powerpoint okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use these hands to show the options now what i'm going to do is go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select this teardrop just draw the teardrop you can hold the shift key so that you get a perfect shape shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can just choose any color and then you can just rotate it which is showing something like this and then hold the shift key and you can increase the size you can see something like this and then select this and bring to front so as if you are holding this particular shape now i'm just going to duplicate this so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side you can just see here i'm just going to make it flip horizontal and put it exactly in the center okay and make sure that it is properly aligned and then press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to take it up and then you can just see that i'm just going to rotate it which is not this one let me just uh, do this one which is rotate right 90 degrees you can see here i'm just going to put it here okay or if you want you can just do the other side also let me just do it yeah so let me just make it like this okay and then the other side also i'm just going to duplicate this and then just rotate it flip horizontal and these four options will look something like this okay then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate again rotate it and make sure that it is properly aligned all right so i'm just going to put it here press ctrl d again bring it down and the last one you can see here something like this let me just align this properly okay And then what you can do is again i'm just selecting these hands by holding the shift key and bring to front all right so we have got this particular shape and let me just select this and move it a little bit out okay and then depending on the requirement you can just choose some different color combination maybe for this i'm going to give this color orange color this one let it be green and this one i can just make it if you're not able to do it you can just highlight like this and then i'm going to give it some pink and here i'm going to give it some blue color all right 
so this is the first slide then what we need to do is we need to add the detail slide for each option so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use you can see here this slide this one two three four this fourth slide i'm just going to use it i can just copy this one and i'm just going to paste it here so these are my four slides and all these animations all these effects which is i've just taken from my own slides okay so now what i'm going to do here is when i click it should go to the slide number one or the slide number two then green one should go for green then the pink one and the blue one so let's do one thing you first select this particular slide and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select the second slide you can see here just drag it here okay so it creates something like this okay now what i'm going to do is you can see here there's something called a zoom is there okay all right so already by default it will be created the moment i just drag and drop so go to the zoom here so there are few options which you need to do it first of all you have to say return to zoom means what happens here when i click let me just show you i'm just making something like this and when i click on this one it goes back and when i click again it comes back to the the main slide now i'm just going to put this one here i'm going to make it a smaller one and i'm going to add it here okay but the problem is this doesn't look good you can see here it's not looking good here so what we need to do is i need to change the background of this so what i'm going to do let me just go to the zoom again you can see here change image change image i can just say you can select any image stock images or online pictures i'm saying from icons and i can just choose any icon of my choice click insert you can see here it has been changed to this one here okay and then go to insert text box i'm just going to add the option a here let me just type a I don't know what went wrong but let me just type it once again yeah make it center align make it bold if you want increase the size okay and I'm just going to put it here a and you can see here there's a border also I just need to remove the border also I'm going to select this one again go to zoom you can see here zoom border make it no outline so it looks something like this now let me just show you you can see here when I bring my cursor here it comes like this and the icon is changing when I click it goes back shows this slide again when I click back it comes back to the normal one okay now let me just do for the second one so again as I said that you should be uh, this is your main slide so now I'm just going to just drag this one select and drag it here okay so again go to the zoom change image from icons you can just choose maybe i'm going to choose this one and insert you can see here hold the shift key reduce the size bring it here and then again go to zoom zoom border make it no outline and make sure that return to zoom is selected okay should be click and then the option will be b I'm going to just bring it here and then I'm just going to make it B and you can just align it properly then the third one I'm just going to drag this here third one again go to zoom return to zoom change image you can see here from icons I'm going to select a different icon maybe this one and then zoom borders make it no outline bring it here drag it make it smaller one okay and this will be control d this is the option c and then i'm going to add the fourth one which is this one again zoom return to zoom and from icons i'm going to choose maybe this and again zoom border no outline hold the shift key reduce the size bring it here and then this is the option number d 
all right now let's play this one okay maybe i've deleted the the background this one not a problem so you can see here when i bring it it comes here the option a click back then option b then option c then option d when i click back it comes back to this original position so this is the simplest way you can do your the zoom feature or you can go to insert also and then you can do it from here also summary zoom or slide zoom so it depends on you for me the simplest thing is you can just drag and drop it here